Hey guys, this is Eli and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now just a quick one today to look at water bottle item sorting. Now item sorting is obviously a very important part to automate any kind of storage system and usually it's pretty simple when you have stackable items, but when it comes to these non-stackables it can be a little trickier. Now behind me is a design capable of sorting out water bottles from all of your other items. I'm not too sure who to give credit to for this design but I first encountered it by a YouTuber called Panda4994 and I will put a link to his channel down in the description. So you might be asking yourself, why would I want an item sorter to sort out water bottles? So to answer that, if we just pop into my single player series, you'll see in front of us we have an AFK fishing farm. Now these things are fantastic, they generate a ton of useful loot including mending books, we get fishing rods, we get enchanted bows and we also get water bottles. Now I personally want to save all these water bottles because I want to feed them directly into an automatic brewing station and that way I don't need to do any work myself, I just always have water bottles in my brewing station so I can make potions and never have to do any of the work. So this is a perfect example of why we would need some kind of redstone mechanism to pick out these water bottles and send them in a different direction to our other items, which would presumably just go into our storage room. Now the function of this thing is pretty simple. If we just throw a bunch of items into this central input chest, then they should automatically get fed into the hopper line into this dropper. Now if items can be pushed from the dropper into the brewing stand, they will, and this will feed items into this chest here. At the moment it only seems to be water bottles, things like redstone, glowstone, they won't get pushed into this, they should just directly fall down. So all the other items should go down here into this chest, and we can just check it now. We should have our items that we started off there, and then we should get three water bottles inside this chest. Chest. Just as a disclaimer, there is currently a known bug with Minecraft versions 1.11.1 and 1.11.2 where water bottles aren't properly being pushed into brewing stands by droppers. So if you are playing one of those versions, then this design probably won't work for you. If you're playing 1.11 or before, then everything seems to be fine, you can go ahead and build this, and currently I'm testing this in the 1.12 pre-7 snapshot and it seems to be working fine, so hopefully if things continue then this should be working great in 1.12. If there is any more updates, I will put them down in the description, so do check that out before you build this thing. To build this design is surprisingly simple, you just need to start off with some kind of shape like this. It doesn't need to look exactly like this, but you will need the general layout. You're going to need a hopper line going into the side of this dropper. Underneath this dropper you want to have another hopper facing either down or away from this hopper here. So as long as this isn't connected to that then you should be fine. And then again you want another hopper here facing away from this dropper. It doesn't need to be in this direction, but it does need to be away from this one here. Now firstly we just want to place a brewing stand on top of this hopper. This is going to be our line for our our water bottles. Behind this dropper we want to place a comparator. This is going to go into a block. Now on the top of this block you want to do a piece of redstone dust. We want to do another block on the side here and then a block against this hopper here. Now on top of this you want to do a repeater set to two ticks and then do a piece of redstone dust on top of this hopper. Around here you want to do a redstone torch on the back of this block. Underneath you need to do two blocks. And then you want to do a repeater facing into this block and then a piece of redstone dust on there. Finally you need to do one more block up here and then you need to do a powered rail on top of the dropper. Now believe it or not, for some reason this just doesn't work if you don't include this powered rail. This seems to be the key to powering this dropper and getting everything to work. Now the function of this is pretty simple, when items pass along this hopper into the dropper we do get this hopper being locked which means only one item at a time can enter the dropper. Now while an item is in the dropper it gives a comparator signal from here, this should power this rail which allows items to be pushed from the dropper into the brewing stand. Now if they can they should go almost immediately and then they should fall down this hopper line into this chest and then after a two tick delay because we have one tick from this torch, one tick from this repeater, this bottom hopper here will unpower and if items haven't been pushed into this brewing stand then they should fall down into this chest. So it's pretty simple. Well I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did then please consider hitting that like button and if you want to see more of my tutorials or catch up with my single player series then feel free to subscribe. I've been Eli, thanks for watching.